I think I can be a positive influence. I can get them moving when they need it. I can be a support or even a comfort when they need it. Uh, just not one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, over the phone. I just try to have those conversations where I can get through to the person and listen to their story and, and listen for the details that I might be able to help them and support them in a better way. My name is Robin Saunders and I'm a caseworker and I have a youth caseload. Everyone has different barriers, so it could be housing, so I'm going to try and support them in housing. It could be health, mental health, I'm trying to try and support them in that way. And if it's nothing, if it's just finishing school, then that's when you kind of got to motivate them and show them that they have a future, so let's take steps towards that. Richie came to Canada, uh, he would have been 17 or 18 when he arrived here by himself as a refugee. For me it was, I think, just giving him a home base someone he could call that he, he knew. I also really encouraged him to finish his high school because that was important to his next step. He wants to go to post-secondary for nursing. And um, this June, he sent me a picture of his diploma and said, I did it, I did it, I, I graduated. So it makes me happy. I'm, I'm just pleased for them. I, I'm, I'm just so excited for them because um, I always joke with them saying, I hope I never see you again, in a good way, because that means they're off and running and, and, and having their life go the way they want it to go.